In this video, you are going to learn how to convert a complex number into a polar form. So basically, we are going to learn how to write a complex number in polar form. So let's begin. Let us consider a complex number given as z is equal to x plus iy, where x is the real part of the complex number and y is the imaginary part of the complex number. And if we want to find the magnitude of the complex number, we can write modulus is equal to r, which is basically equal to modulus of z is equal to square root of x square plus y square and basically this is the magnitude of the complex number z x plus i y in order to explain the complex number what i'm going to do i'm going to graph the complex number so this is my graph let this is my x axis and this is my y axis the point of intersection of x and y axis is o which is over here now Let's plot this complex number z is equal to x plus i y and let this is the point p which is basically the complex number z. Now let's connect this point with o and if I connect that I will get the magnitude of the complex number which is basically equal to r is equal to modulus of z. And what I'm going to do I'm going to drop a perpendicular from point p to the x axis and if I do that, I will get a right triangle and let the angle made by this complex number with x axis is angle theta, which is also known as argument of complex number. We also call it amplitude of complex number z. So if you look at this triangle, this is a right triangle and the coordinate of point P is z, which is basically a ordered pair P x y. So if we use the trigonometry, we can write x is equal to r cosine theta which is equation one and y is equal to r sine theta, which is equal to equation two. So basically I have two equations for x and y in terms of r and angle theta. Now let's substitute the value of x and y in this expression, which is basically z is equal to x plus i y. And if I do that, I will get the complex number in polar form, which is basically z is equal to r inside the bracket cosine theta plus i sine theta. So basically what we did, we converted this complex number x plus i y into polar form. And this is the polar form of the complex number. Now let's square and add equation one and two. And if we square and add equation one and two, we will write x square plus y square is equal to r cosine theta square plus r sine theta square. And if we simplify, we will write x square plus y square is equal to this r square is common. So I'm going to take it out. So I will write r square outside the bracket and inside the bracket you have cosine square theta plus sine square theta. And as we know, cosine square theta plus sine square theta is one because this is the identity of a trigonometric functions. So we can write x square plus y square is equal to r square and if we simplify further we will write r is equal to square root of x square plus y square. So basically if you look closely no matter how you write the complex number you will get the same value for the modulus of the complex number. One thing we need to remember for the complex number is that when theta is greater than negative pi and less than or equal to pi, it's called the principal argument of z and it is denoted by arz. So basically, if the value of theta lies between these two values, then it's called the principal argument or principal amplitude of the complex number.